Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design, coming at you with another WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorial. Should be a relatively quick one, a uh, pretty cool little thing. You've probably seen this around. Uh, when you highlight text, you notice that I get this default kind of blue color that every website has ever always had, like the entire time you've probably ever seen websites. But I'm sure you're noticing nowadays, and you probably see this on my website as well, if you head on over to there, bjholder.com. And I will actually go to the WWB version here. So this is my WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorial page. And when you highlight text, you'll notice that I actually, my my website is still blue. Um, but you'll see it's a different shade of blue and it, it matches my theme up here. My theme blue. Okay. And you can actually uh, set this color to be whatever you want. So uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to do that using WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. And to do that, we actually use a, uh, a little bit of code, it's a CSS code. Um, so this is the code right here. I'm going to include a link to this TXT file uh, in the show notes and on my webpage. It'll be uh, one of those goo.gl links. So it'll say goo.gl slash, and it'll have a bunch of weird random letters and characters. And that's just a uh, short link to, to the page to, to download this. I'll, I'll zip it up in a zip file, and then I'll set that to download. Uh, so that way you can download this, this, and I'm going to show you where you put this next, okay? So we right-click, and we copy this code after you download it. And what you're going to want to do is come on into Insert, or I'm sorry, um, Page, and you go to your Site HTML, and you're going to put this in between the head tags. So I'm just hitting Control-V to paste that. And now what we're showing here is the background color. So this is the color that's, that's going to be in the background when you highlight. Color is referring to the color of the text that you want. And then this text shadow is optional. You can take that out if you want. However, um, I typically do use a light colored text shadow. So what I do is I set this text shadow to a darker color red. So that way when we highlighted it, you can see, you can see a little bit of a shadow behind it. It makes the letters look like they're kind of popping off. Um, and since I use a light colored uh, text shadow typically on my sites, what happens is when I highlight something, uh, you can see that it looks like the letters are being doubled. That's because you're highlighting both the text and the text shadow. So what I'm doing is changing that text shadow from light to dark by using this piece of CSS right here. That way it doesn't look like it's doubled. Okay? And that's, it's really that simple. You just paste this little bit of code in here. And you just edit these hexadecimal uh, colors right here for the background, for the color, and for the text shadow. So whatever it is that you want them to be uh, in your theme, and you're done. So in this case, I have this red that I'm using in this website. It's just a, a one-page, nothing but text, so you can check it out. So now that we have that CSS on, you see that when I highlight, everything's now red. And you see when I highlight, you kind of see how the letters appear to pop off the page. You may not be able to see that in the YouTube page too well, but um, they do. There's a little tiny hint of a darker red outlining the bottom and, and, the, and the right side of each letter. And that's it. It's that simple. So hopefully uh, hopefully you like this video. It gave you a little bit of insight into doing something pretty cool. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. makes me want to do more of these tutorials for you. And also be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube if you're watching me there because I come out with these videos quite often. And um, more subscribers means more videos. Alrighty, so thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. Thanks.